March 4th, 2015 was the day I suffered a spinal cord injury uh, during a lacrosse game for Chapin High School. Um, that day kind of changed my life. There's a lot of different uh, conflicting emotions. Uh, I didn't really know what to think at first. A lot of doctors were telling me different things. A lot of family members were telling me different things. He said it was pretty rough. He gave me a 10% chance to ever be functional on my feet again. Um, I don't know a single other person where they would hear that and just be hopeful still after that, but he was someone who just put his head down and almost took it as motivation, took it as a challenge. 10% is better than 0%, and so I'll take every percentage I can get and uh, run with it. He didn't really need us. There was something deeper inside him that, that was driving him and, and he was gonna be unstoppable from that point on. Um, and that showed from day one when he couldn't move anything from the chest down all the way to where he is now and that's continued with him and he's still got that same mentality of it's not, I'm not gonna stop. Attending college after high school, since I had my injury, was definitely a scary thought. Getting here to Clemson, um, touring it and kind of figuring the layout and knowing the challenges that I would face and um, planning to overcome them kind of helped me. I first met Jack when he was moving in as a freshman into one of our resident halls and he was on crutches and I thought he'd, he'd torn up his knee so I asked him about it and I said, uh oh, did you mess up your knee? And he said, no, I actually broke my neck. So we got to talking and I wanted to hear his story and, and he shared it with me and I asked him, was everything at Clemson going okay for him? Are we making the provisions for him? He said everything was great. Student Affairs stepped in right away and was there from the beginning to help him out. Um, starting off with just his housing, he was able to get uh, the great preferred handicap accessible room and core uh, centralized on campus and the accommodations. He was right there with the dining hall. So that helped him out a lot. Parking services has really stepped up and given him some exemptions that might not be afforded to everyone. The Greek life was, has been awesome for me. I rushed my freshman year, so like right out of the gate, and I didn't know how that was going to go at all. Um, my brother was in a fraternity his freshman year, so he had already been in it a year when I was coming through, and um, you know everything worked out, and I got a bid from ACO, and I've been stoked to be in it ever since. One of his fraternity brothers came to me when Jack was a sophomore and said, hey Rusty, do you know that Jack has never been able to go to a football game because he can't maneuver real well and just the crowds and all. He said, uh, do you think there's anything that student affairs could do to help him? I said, I think we can. If we know about it, we're gonna make sure that a student does not miss out on any activities or any events that they wanna take part in. And I've seen student affairs go, what I would almost consider overboard to make sure that we are making any accommodations that we can for our students so they can enjoy a great student life. Uh, the Clemson experience to me is just coming here and it being such a college town um, knowing that everybody here loves Clemson and that their blood runs orange and that they'll just take the time of the day um, to help you out with whatever you need. Uh, it's such a safe campus, such a safe environment, you know, to really foster any kind of uh, adventures or learning or growth that you need.